I think we start with the concentration exercises or the theme of concentration, whatever the need behind or the idea behind this question is, what is concentration? And in a way, the first big concentration in our life was when we were born. Huh? So we were there and then we have to have this concentration into our body. So it fits perfectly to our starting exercise where we arrive at ourselves. And just let's take it serious that this I feel myself, I feel my lungs, I feel my inner space, and maybe I feel even the size, the tallness, the bigness of my inner size. It's a concentration. Concentration is not something narrow. Concentration can be wide, can open spaces. And from there, I go through my body, through my legs, through my feet. Try to feel into the earth. Stay connected with myself. Self. Feeling the forces of uprightness coming about by themselves. Me only feeling downwards. And if this verses work, my heels might become even light. I relax, let the breath react. If you want, make a step forward or backwards just to reset your muscle system a little bit. And let's repeat it one more time. My center, my body, my legs, the earth, me. I breathe, I relax, but the forces of uprightness may stay. Okay. When we say concentration, every attentiveness is a sort of concentration. Yeah looking towards something. I stay with you. I'm not going somewhere. So at school you do it with children in different ways that they have to be concentrated, not to get lost. And we as adults try to engage these forces directly, forces which lead towards us and we just try to be in contact with them. So those of you who have been Mondays with me, have been doing these exercises with the arms. And we did them going out and coming in. And for the purpose of concentration, we do the current coming in stream. So stand in a way that you can make three or four steps backwards, please. And these exercises can be helpful if you have the feeling I get lost, I have to arrive at myself. Yeah? have to become concentrated again. Just stay upright, feel your uprightness. Put the right foot and please take the right one backwards and the left one slowly draw it to the right one that they stand next to each other. Arrive. Again, right foot back. Slowly pull the left leg towards the right one with the thought of, I arrive. Draw it 
two more times. Right foot, preparation. I arrive. Naturally, I'm on my heels. I feel my clavicles. And last time, right foot back, left one. I feel my heels and my clavicles. I let my breath react. I feel my legs. Take the place where you feel comfortable. I come forward a little bit that you can see me a little bit better because now we do something with the arms and we will continue with the legs afterwards to have this concentration process supported. And maybe you remember when you've been with me the following sequence of arm movements. And if it's new, just follow. We just do what we've done with the legs. You won't see mine, but you know what we did. Right foot back, left foot slowly pulled towards it. I feel my heels, I feel my clavicles. And I open my hands towards the surroundings above me. And now I come down, I feel my upper arm. And now let's go towards, I feel my lower arm, I move it a little bit. And I feel my upper arm again. And then I go into my hands, I feel my fingers. I move them a little bit like spraying pepper or nice smell around me and then I let it penetrate my skin, arrive in my body. I breathe. There are different ways of how which parts of the body uh, I put into my consciousness. For this reason we take this sequence of now and if you want to make the coming towards me effect stronger, we do not do it with both hands. There's already equilibrium balance in it. We only use the left arm now. Right foot back. Left foot arise. I feel my heels, my clavicles, the heights. And now upper arm, I move it a little bit. Lower arm, I move it a little bit. Upper arm, I move it a little bit. Hands, I move them a little bit. Fingers, I weave with my fingers. Fingertips, I spray out through my fingertips. And I arrive. And you repeat it one more time. Right leg back. Left one towards it. Feeling my heels, my clavicles, the fingertips out there. Upper arm. Lower arm. Upper arm. Hands, finger weaving, fingertips spraying and penetrating my skin. Now it's now sort of one-sidedness we cultivate. It's not a both, it's a concentration but we are looking for the balance within the one-sidedness. So it's harmony in the one-sidedness. We continue to work with our feet. And now I go a little bit back and we always work with pulling things in, bringing things in. Just use your toes and yeah, wave a little bit with the tips of your toes out there and then suddenly, as if you would pull it in, 
and then slowly set it down. So you reach out and then you just pinch something and carefully you bring it in to place it next to you. Come home, my darling. Where are you, my dear child? Yes, come on. Come on, come with me. And then just carefully place it. And again, out there, hello, there you are. And then Jack, come back and place it. Yeah. Out there, a little bit of tension. And then sudden Jack, come back. And very slowly place it. It's becoming calm inside. Two more times, if it's possible, out there, a little bit of tension. And then very slowly come back and place it. And if it's not possible so slowly, just do it. Imagine it slowly, even if you have to place your foot quickly and place it. And breathe. Now use your thing as if you was as if your toes would be fingers go out there. Sp spread them a little bit and then just comb towards the foot and place it. Go out there, spread the fingers, uh, the toes a little bit and comb the grass towards you and place it. Go out there, comb the grass towards you, place it from all directions, from behind, go out there, finger, uh, toes are wide, comb the grass towards you, place it two more times to the side perhaps, towards me, and I feel the space between my toes. I try to feel it. Never mind if I can feel it, I try, I place it. I stand, I breathe. Now we make a few little steps. We just go a little step forward to there and then we go to the side. We change direction all the time. Then we go here. Never mind. Four, three more steps like there, here and two more steps just to return to where we stood, stood at the beginning. Changing directions. But now we place the foot in a way that we always do it like this, I just show it to you, that the foot touches the ground with the with edges outside and then you slowly turn it and place it. And the other foot just begins here and then you place it, you slowly place it like this. So we change directions, never mind one step in this direction, but I place my foot and I turn it inward. Yes, now I feel the ground. I change direction, I, I use the edge of the foot and slowly turn it inward. A new direction, I turn it inward. A new direction, I turn it inward. Three, four, five more, one, like dancing, like being a bear. Huh? And you feel the soles of your feet there. Oh, how beautiful are my toes, yes, and here and backwards, forwards, and arrive. Feel your feet. Feel your uprightness. And now start to feel your heels and the torsals, the ankle bones of your feet. And there are a row of four and behind there are three more. Yeah. And now just imagine your body is like a sort of a, a house, a glass house. And in front it has a window. In front plane is a window. And through this window one can look inside. I try to look through this window inside of me. And my whole back is a window. The parts of my, the back part of my uh, thighs are windows. And through these windows, 
I can look inside me and my right planes of my arm, of my legs, of my ears are like windows and I can look inside me. And my left side, the left arm are like planes, like windows and the legs and the ears and the cheeks. Everywhere I have windows and through these windows I look inside me. And my soles of the feet and the a lower part of my chin, everything which looks downwards are like windows and from there I can look inside me. Through the pelvis I can look inside me. And the flat part of my skull above and my shoulders, they are planes like windows. Through them I can look inside me. And the nails of my toes are also windows. And through them, I can look into my body. And I take all six directions of windows into account and from everywhere. I gaze into myself. And I feel how I'm arriving there. It's possible. I don't know what I see, but I'm just, no, I'm looking there gazing through the windows. Okay, just relax, breathe. <sighs> Maybe it needs a step forward. <laughs> Maybe you start feeling concentrated like a piece of salt. So we need some soft softness again. And just weave your lower legs a little bit, as airy as possible. And if you need a chair to hold on, don't hesitate. Huh? But just we try to, to feel, have an airy feeling around your lower legs. Nice. And again. Okay. And now again, we try just to invite the children of the kindergarten just to come in to have supper. Supper is ready. Come, my darling. Come in, supper is ready. Just invite everything what is out there to come in. Come on, very gently. And we go out, we embrace things there, and then come along. We do not lose what we have harvested, all the nice leaves in our uh, basket. We bring everything home, it would be behind. From different directions. Use the calves of our lower legs just to bring things home into your eyes. We breathe and finish this part with just going on the toes and slowly plant, feeling our thighs and slowly planting ourselves on the earth, in the earth, arriving on the heels. We do a step backwards, that's even stronger than forwards, to concentrate. We again go up on the toes, just in, in order to go down. That's what we, we go down slowly and we go into the earth and feel how our heels even connect with the floor. We do it one last time, a little step backwards. We go up and we go down slowly, connect through the heels with the earth, feel the uprightness coming about. We feel our collarbones and after all this going in, we need balance. We need to balance it too. So just feel your body how you stand there. Feel your legs, your feet, feel your collarbones. Do a step with the left leg forward, with the right to the side. Feel the clavicles. Put this energy of the clavicles into the upper arms, into the lower arms, into the ankles of the hand, in the hands, in the fingers. 
just go out there and just spray out and have the feeling I arrive. And let go. And now we do not do it in a way that you really go out, but we just, we have this feeling of concentration still in the body, but we balance it. Yeah? We do not leave it, but we create the lightness within the concentration one more time. One step forward with the left, one step towards the right. Clavicles, upper arm lower arm, ankles, palms of the hand, finger, fingertips, through the fingertips out there, arrive. Feel the space where they have arrived still when you let go. Close your legs. Let your breath react. Feel the sensations you have in your body now. What do you notice? Can be completely different with everybody of us. Let your breath react. Sit down for a minute or two and continue to Listen to the resonance of what we've been doing. When I look at the level of concentration and decompensation, perhaps, how do I perceive my container? Is the natural interest of my invisible inner eyes directed towards the inside or more what's going on on the surface of my skin around it? Where are they drawn to? How to experience your breath, your diaphragm, the inner space of your lungs. What about the um, distribution of warmth and freshness in the body? What about the destructiveness of your thoughts, of the contentness, or peacefulness of your thinking towards what is it directed? Does it want to move a lot or is it content to be pretty still? 